it's me, Wacky Mika 24. Today I'm doing a, um, a custom with my friend, my, um, my custom, and she's doing two customs, because we went to Horseman's Exchange, and we got some horses for five bucks. My, this was ten, his, hers was like eight. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff you have to use first. You have to have like wipes. And then like, nail polish remover. And then your paint colors. And then a picture of what your horse wants to look like. Uh, my friend, she is going to do hers like um, her old horse. His name was Jack. Okay, this guy, he goes like this. So, yeah. So, first thing first, I'm just gonna. So, can you hold it? Like, so. Can you see me, like, doing the nail polish thing? So you take some of the nail polish remover and you get it on your thing. And then you go take your horse and you scrub off all, or not all, but pretty much most of your paint. Okay, oopsie. Okay, so you scrub off as much as you can. So I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, because we have a few more customs to do. So you might want to like get most of the thigh and a bit more like in the joints. <laughs> Places like there. Okay. She thinks that's funny. So now, when you're done with that, uh, keep scrubbing. Okay, thank you. So now, like you would take it all off as much as you can at least. With the mane and tail, I'm gonna leave it because it's kind of hard. So I'm gonna make him kind of look like that, but with like a goldish color. Okay. So then, seconds, you wash. You would wash your horse in water. Okay. Okay, guys. Hi. So next, you want to wash your horse. I'm gonna put soap. I see some soap there. And then you're gonna scrub your horse with nice warm water. Get some of that extra like alcoholic um, smell off it. It's time to wash. I'm gonna start scrubbing. Shut off most of the cold water. Which I did not. I made it worse. Okay. Can you wash it? Let's pull the drain down a little bit. Too hot. Too hot. Okay, so now we're gonna like scrub, not scrub, but pretty much just wash off with that alcoholic smell. Get all the sudsiness. Ah, I'm a sudsy horsey. Get all the like, suds off. Sorry, I'm like clogging the drain and unclogging it. So yeah, let's scrub them. Put that smell out, make them all nice and clean. Okay. And then you dry. You don't want to soak them for too long. It's pretty good. And then the next step is fun. I'm going to wash my friend's horse real quick. Her, she's keeping it like that because he's, he's an older horse. Like one of the older models. So it's kind of harder for her to get the paint off because it's like weird paint or whatever. So we're scrubbing him, getting him clean. Can't see him now. Oh no. no. So now we're getting him off. So yeah, keep scrubbing till you think it's all right. See your horse. Does that smell? Okay. Put the pause button. Okay. Hi guys, it's me. So again, this is like the next step. So you need gloves and a hair dryer. After you've done those two steps. Um, get off the paint and wash. So, you're going to put your gloves on. Give me a minute. Okay. Because you, you need the gloves because, um, you don't want to burn yourself because you're bending. You're bending parts in your horse. She wants me to bend the ears and that hoof since it's crooked. So, the hand that I'm not going to have the glove on is this hand for now. The hand I'm going to be holding the blow dryer with. So first we're going to do the ears. Indoors. So now, let's start blow drying. Make it really hot. It has to be, I'm like, high hot. Okay? Hot. And I have to turn it on. 
You get yours first. You have to make it really hot. Pause it in a minute. and hot. So now we're going to start the bending. So we're going to grab your object. You want to push it where you want it to go. So I'm pushing. You got to really use all your might. You make sure your gloves have like padding on them so you don't hurt yourself because I've burned myself before. Okay so now his ears are pointed now. Not pointed but forward. And now they've cooled down. Now they're forward a lot. They've been fixed. Okay, so before they were like messed up. So now they're really like bent forward and they look good. Okay, that's the third step. And sometimes you might only have a couple steps because you might not want to bend. But yeah, that's the third step in the process. And she just burnt herself. <laughs> Wash out. Guys, now's the fun part. Now you get to start painting. First thing first, you always want to start from the head down. So you can hold the head, we do the legs, hold the legs and do the head. Never do the eyes, mane, tail, and hooves last, okay? And every, like the ears too, okay? Anything that's really close to other things, like the main part, do that after, okay? Get the big part done first. Step one. Squirt your color paint that you're first going to use for your body on a plate. Then step two, start painting. Okay, so now once you've painted almost your whole body, except for your tail, your mane, and some of the bits of your hooves. After, you have to let it dry. See how it's so shiny? You have to let it dry. Okay? Then, for you, you start in your eyes. Okay, work on any underbelly and hoof. So you leave that alone. And you can just put them on the back. Okay? I still don't know what I'm going to name him yet. It's supposed to kind of look like that. And also it might help you, there's a different color brown-ish. What also might help you is to um, get a picture of the horse you're trying to copy. Because if you think this is some kind of stupid video that won't help you, trust me it will. I got a first place in the two that I customed. So yeah. While you wait for your horses to dry, you pick out. But I'm a nandy's bitch. I love it. Sorry for the language. Dance, Bailey. Pa. Thank you. Here's a berry. No, throw it. Oh, oopsie. Okay, give her one. Here is him so far. He's not done yet. He has his blue eyes so far. Not done with him quite yet. That's his tail. That's Krista's so far. My friend. She has like messed she messed up the coat, so she's like redo it. But yeah. Hey guys, it's me. Oh my friend left. So I can't show you her finished horse right now because we have to stop the video. But um here is now, honeybee, he is all done. He goes like that. He looks really good, actually. It's one thing before I start, really. Um, does he kind of, like, say... Okay, say my arm was a jump. 
Does he kind of look like he could be falling over a jump? Like and post, yes or no, for question A, okay? Question A, say yes or no, okay? So, um, one thing when you're done, you do touch-ups. I already did touch-ups. Let's see, if you want it to look more realistic, you kind of like make little sponge marks in a way. You can check his eyes. I like this eye. Hold on. I like that eye better than that one. Yeah. And Golden Oak Stables is having their youth model show June 26th. I mean, sorry, 29th. I was going to go, but then I can't because it's my grandparents. I forget what anniversary, but some big anniversary. They're having a big bash. Big party. So I can't go, but I'm cheering other people on, encouraging people to go. Okay? I might be able to make a morning class. Okay? Make a couple of morning classes. Because I only live an hour away. And sorry for that poor horse that be eating over there. He's holding my lamp. But yeah. So I think he looks pretty good. His hoof, hoof. And some, um, when you're done, you kind of want to check for like bubbles and stuff. But yeah, you can fix them. So here's Honeybee. And his show name is, watch my stinger. Okay, so he's all done. So I hope this video helped you, and this tutorial actually. So yeah, see you guys.